Welcome to another Video Marketing Minute. I'm Eric Kalis, Chief Marketing Officer for Square2 Marketing. Wouldn't it be great if you could personally follow up with every single person who comes to your website? Sure, that would be nice, but nobody has the bandwidth or the resources to do that. So how do we make sure that we follow up with these folks that have indicated interest just by visiting our website? It's called lead nurturing. It's important to have a lead nurturing program in place for your prospects. By providing them with educational content to kind of help them through their buying journey, you're able to introduce them to your product or service, address any questions they might have, or position your company as the obvious choice to do business with. So don't ignore your leads. Set up what we call a lead nurturing system to keep dripping on those folks to establish that case why they should buy from you. It's really important that they understand all the steps in the process. Remember, some people are just coming in at the top of the funnel and some people are ready to buy. So by nurturing them, we're basically taking them from the beginning of their buying decision process all the way to the end. So here's three easy ways to get started today. The first one is to simply send out a monthly educational newsletter. Of course, lots of companies have that, but it's really important that you have one as well. This means that there's no more than 29 days that goes by without one of your prospective clients thinking about you. Dripping on them with stories and content and interesting thought leadership articles gets you front of mind. So when their pain becomes acute and they are ready to buy, you're right there in front of them. I would recommend starting with a monthly email campaign. See how it goes. Gauge response. You could tighten it up if you have some busy buying seasons or open it up a little bit more if you have slow seasons like the summer. Number two, you're already doing tons of blog posts. Why don't we repurpose those blog posts so we can nurture clients that way? If you're having a monthly email newsletter, how about every other two weeks in between, send a best of the blog. Very simply, get your four best performing blogs from the previous 30 days and highlight them with links in a best of the blog series. Once again, another way to repurpose some of that great thought leadership content that you posted to your website. And the third one, it's a little bit more technical. It's actually a lead nurturing campaign that gets triggered by something that someone does. So for example, if someone comes to your uh, website and they download a white paper, the next day they can get an email. Three days later, another email. A week later, another email. Two weeks, 30 days, and so forth. You can set how many emails they get and what content you're giving them. So in the beginning of that conversation, give them high-level stuff like free reports, white papers, tip sheets, infographics. In the middle, give them some videos, invite them to a webinar, and perhaps near the end of that lead nurturing cycle, give them some validation like case studies and testimonials when they're in that final stage of buying. This way, you can follow up with every single person who comes to your website by setting up this nice nurturing. So once again, the three ways, monthly educational newsletter, best of the blog newsletter, and lead nurturing campaigns. I hope I got you thinking differently about your sales and marketing. For more information like this, don't forget to check out square2marketing.com, and we'll see you next week.